it's, it's ethereal, really. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's euphoric. <laughs> Not euphoric, it's just ethereal. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the Two Latin Brothers Podcast, the podcast where we talk about our daily lives and entertainment brought to you as a comedy podcast. I'm Victor. And I'm Adrian. And we're back again with another episode of the podcast. Yeah. Now, I've had quite a long week. Uh, You've had a long week? I've had quite a long week. Oh, I'm sure you've Um, had a long week. Well, I finished technically last week. Mm Mm-hmm. Right? I got in some assignments this week, and... uh, you're done now, school. Yeah, now I'm done. I'm free. You know. Yeah. I'm free. The real world. Um, away from the prison. Away from the prison. Away from the sanctuary. The one you paid to be. The one that's been holding me captive for the, the one last that you century. paid to be put in. Yes, the one I paid to be put in. Which is crazy. It's amazing. The really. plot thickens. Yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just realized my face is probably very, very hidden just uh, now. What was I gonna say? Um, yeah, no, uh, I, you know, I, I've been doing a lot of interviewing lately. Yeah, it's been it's been crazy. Yeah, uh, I like how you're about to be free and I'm about to be captured. <laughs> yep, it's kind of it's kind of like a plot twist. I don't, I don't know. It's 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 been it's been interesting just meeting all of these people and then having to be like, hey, look. Uh, also, having to tell people when you like when they go. So tell me about yourself and you got like five minutes to like say a few words about yourself yeah. and halfway through the conversation like am i coming off like an egotistical person like is this yeah you're like, because when you're in a when you're in an interview yeah you're giving all the good stuff right everything yeah. all the good stuff hold nothing back that's right. good well okay so like it's okay so as, as, a, as a as a social worker right yeah i was doing this interview where someone's asking me have you ever worked with people of different ethnicities it's Canada, and then oh, that's why. But they ask that just in case, you know, because like if you're from like a little town, uh huh, you know, you're just, just surrounded by your people, right? There's not. I mean, there's, there's people that pass through, but, but it's not that diverse, right? So fair enough. They ask more or less to gauge mm-hmm. your. I was gonna say environment, but environment isn't the right word. It's more like to gauge your ability to navigate it. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, I I can tell you like uh, an instance where I've I've had like many interactions. Yeah. And the guy goes, yeah, sure, go for it. So then I proceeded to tell him how this one time, um, I was uh, working at this immigration office, and um, this uh, this Muslim couple walks in, and you know I walk up to the guy, shake his hand, and then I walk up to his wife to shake her hand. All right. And that's like a no no. Uh huh. And then uh, the guy was like, yo, what are you doing? And even the wife was like, she's like, whoa, what are you doing? Like, this is very, very offensive. Right, right, right. And then I go, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, and suddenly, like, it clicked in my head. And the guy goes, no, it's okay. Like, I I get it. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm trying to. Culture. Trying trying to have a game. Like, yeah, I'm so sorry. That's my bad, right? And then uh, I was telling him how, you know, that's how I navigate it, right? Yeah. I'm like, the thing is, is you have to be, like, open-minded to navigate these certain types of situations. Yeah. And then, and then to be like, like flexible in the environment, right? And and then I'm like, and then you have like a Japanese couple walking, and they're like bowing, and so then you're bowing, and yeah, it's, right. So there, there's and then you're like, I, I can't bow too far down, yeah, they're kind of a client, <laughs> yeah. So it's it's kind of like this whole dynamic where you have to kind of adapt and move around, not move around, but kind of like be aware of everyone else mm-hmm. because of culture, right? And and it's one of those things where you have to uh, learn, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I mean. I've never truly experienced that, you know, having to deal with a multitude of people who can't communicate, you know. Right, that too. There's also, like, a, a lot of language barriers. So, yeah. like, I'll have people come in, and uh, well, when I was there, I, I once had someone come in, and they barely spoke English. And I remember I pulled out my phone. Yeah. And I'm on, like, Google Translate, and I'm typing in. I'm like, what language do you speak? Mm. And they just went dead silent. I go, okay, how am I supposed to navigate this? What language yeah. do you speak? And then uh, I go, I go, um, I, I can't remember what happens. And then they, they went like, I think they went like, uh, uh, they, they went, they said some African language. And I, yeah. went, and I was like, okay. And I opened up Google Translate. Yeah. Like this better be here or I'm like doomed. I'm going to communicate with this guy and anyway, I find it. You know, I, cl- I click on the language. I type out, you know, how can I help you today? Yeah. Hit play. And the guy like, he's like nodding along. 
then I pass him my phone and he goes and he types back. Yeah. Well, he, wouldn't he talk into it because your keyboard? Yeah. Unless yeah, yeah. it was the same characters. It, it, it wasn't really. So he spoke into it mainly. Yeah. He like, he, I don't know how he did, but I tossed him my phone and he like spoke into it, whatever it was. And then it translated, Google translated it. Yeah. And then it was, um, you know, uh, he's like, I'm here for help on, I think it was like trying to get a job or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then I told him how his, he needs to work on his English. And then he replied, I just started English classes, but I'd like to get into work. And then okay. I'm like, okay. And then like, I had a conversation and then I, I took him to somebody else. Like I mm. deferred him yeah. to somebody else. And they're it's like, like you basically put him on hold in real life. No, You're I, like let me put you on hold, patch him through. <laughs> no, I, 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 no, I just went okay. Give me a sec, and then I went to someone who's like in that area. Yeah, I'll be able to find jobs, and then uh, that person actually told me that uh, I when I, they got to his desk, they go, uh, "How are you talking to this guy?" <laughs> like as far as I know, I don't speak what he speaks, and neither do you. Yeah. So how do you, how are you navigating this? And I just I pulled out my phone. Was just Google Translate. It's like, okay, that's good. And then so they're talking for a bit. The guy leaves and he leaves angry. Hmm. And I go, well, what happened? And he goes, oh, I, I told him that he needs to have at least like a level two English to like do basic work. I see. And the guy had just started. So oh, wow. he's like, he's not, he's he's not a, he, he, I know there's a rush to start working, hmm. but right now at this moment in time, he's not capable of it. Hmm. So and, and there were a lot of instances like that where you get people come in and they don't know, you know. They don't know, you know. No, they don't. They don't know English. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like even here, like so you'll you'll work at like a Tim Hortons and people be like, "Yeah, Do you speak English and French," and you're like, "I only speak English, so you can't work here." <laughs> yeah, like it's. It, I don't know. You just reminded me of a video I saw on Instagram mm-hmm. of um, this guy. He speaks in a language. Mm-hmm. He speaks English, mm-hmm. but he speaks it how it sounds to those who don't know English. Mm. So, like, every every few words, you understand him, and you're like, is that really what it's like to not understand English? And then he does it with other languages, too. Uh-huh. And then, like, he does it with Spanish and English and French. Have you and heard? I'm just, I'm like, I Have got you seen two that or t- three words. Have you seen that TikTok of that guy? Who speaks? Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a language that was created in the eighties, I think. Where it's a mixture of Spanish, French, Portuguese, and I think Italian. No, no, Spanish, French, and Portuguese. And if you speak that language to people, whether they speak French, whether they speak Portuguese, or whether they speak Spanish, they will understand you. This is a true story. <laughs> no, <laughs> yes, it, apparently it works. No. And they, they were, yeah. There's a there's a guy who has a whole TikTok page about it. I can't remember what the TikTok page is called right now. No, but apparently it works. No, that's and cheating. And it's one. Of, they're saying that um, uh, if this picks up at one point, like all the romantic languages, which is fused into that language. No, it's been, like I I think this is more likely to happen in Europe than here. Yeah, because, that makes that would make more because sense. in Europe, like they're right next to each other, right? Yeah. So like if you're in, you're like if you're in Spain, you learn that language. You go to Portugal, people understand you now. Yeah. And if you're in Portugal, you learn that language. You go to Spain, people understand you now. Yeah. Right. And because the crossover is so similar and so alike, you're able to like intermingle with each other. Yeah. You already have that instance between Portuguese and Spanish, where people who speak Portuguese understand Spanish way better. Way better. They understand Spanish fairly well. Yeah. But people who speak Spanish struggle to learn. Or Portuguese. understand people speak Portuguese. Yeah. But if they but if you speak French and you speak Spanish, you're able to understand a lot more French. Yeah. But if you but it doesn't go the other way, you know. So yeah. there are instances where it works and instances where it doesn't work. Yeah. And you're able to mix and match. Well, technically, or, if you learn if you learn French, you can learn Spanish. If you can learn Spanish and French, you can learn Portuguese. Yeah. And then same way, kind of backwards, except you have to learn Portuguese. No, if you learn Spanish, French, you can learn Italian. Yeah, but you also have to know Portuguese. <laughs> right, yeah. Because of the, the, the So technically if you know English, you can learn French. If you know French, you know Spanish. If you can learn well, no, no, well no. not know no, no, no. Spanish. If you know English, you can learn German cuz German's the closest one to English. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen German? Yeah, I have. It's scary. But it's the closest it's thing to scary. English. It's the closest thing to English. 16 letter words that bro, are commonly I, used every day. Bro, I've seen it. 
Uh, no, I, you haven't. I have. Clearly, you have not. I definitely have. Clearly, Bro, you. I, I tried learning German for a bit. I have too. It, it was. It was I crazy. have too. It was crazy. It is not a fun time. Uh, I mean, because it's it's, it's, it's just, complex. It's just big words. It's long. Yeah. It's 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 not nice to me. You know. Anyways, it's not that bad. It's just. I mean, it's, it's a great language. I'm gonna put that out there. It's it's a great language. <laughs> It's not for me. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. <laughs> it's not in my bloodline to, you know. To be picking up a foreign language. To, to speak German. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's just, not, I just wasn't meant to speak it. Yeah. It's like when, um, you know, like when you, you go to another place. No. I've never been anywhere but here. <laughs> no. I've gonna, been trapped for no, millennia. Say, if you go to another place that speaks English. What? If you go to another place that speaks English. <laughs> okay. And they have a different accent. No. <laughs> Eventually, your accent will start to sound like theirs. No, I've always you, lived here. <laughs> that's, what I'm that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying that if you were to go to a different place where they spoke English mm-hmm. and they have a different accent, eventually your English will start to sound like their English. Okay. No. And that's just... I'm joking. And, that, and that's just... Kind of. And that's just because of you're surrounded by it and what you're hearing. It's like if you go to, to Britain... You know, England. Don't do this to me. And you, I'm gonna feel very tempted to make a poor and, British accent. And you, and you go there, right? And you, yeah. and you say you live there for a year and a half, right? Yeah. You're surrounded by British people, and you, you don't really sound British to them. Yeah. But if you come back to Canada, yeah, you'll sound like, a little. British. Everybody's like, "Why you sound British?" <laughs> yeah, it's because your 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 enunciation will change, right? Because you're surrounded and you're hearing, yeah, the British accent, the British, the British. I said accent. I meant accent. <laughs> the British accent. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying our English is superior? Is that what you're saying indirectly? Are you trying to get us canceled? We speak proper English. We've talked about this on yes, the podcast how we, before. We speak proper English, yeah, because we're pronouncing it the way it's supposed to be. And the are Br- we? And the British are we? Apparently, how we, do you spell knife? That, that's a silent letter, bro. That, that's what's a silent letter, bro? That's in, that's like how do you spell hola? Hola. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's that's not that's not that's like kind of like hit or miss sort of thing. Yeah. There are there are instances in every language that are silent letters. Technically, it's hala. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but did you know in Portuguese they spell it O L A? I know, but Portuguese spell is the broken pop- language, no, and they also say hola. Yeah, I know. So you know O L A. Yeah, but they, they spell. They also it. say oi. Okay, well, oh, I look. I'm not gonna get into this. This oh, is. Just, I'm not getting into this discussion about language and which one's superior. I'm ob- superior because obviously the superior language doesn't exist. Yes, it does. Which is Sanskrit. What is that? It's a base language, very ancient, probably with a first Latin. And but that's not the superior language. Fine, Latin's the superior language. Why would you say Latin? No one speaks it. because it's the derivative. Everything else is a derivative of that. You know, it's a dead language. How do you, you know what? You know what? I wonder. How yes. do you get a point where people just decided we're gonna stop? You speaking. don't decide. You move regions, and then. No, I was gonna say, and how, then a multitude no, look, of people. Look, 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 look. Listen, no, no. Listen. How, how so there's one happen? area, okay? Yeah. People disperse. Yeah. Okay. Okay. People go in random dispersion. directions. So now there's less people here. Yeah. Okay. But there's multiple people out there in the world. That speak. So then they populate, mm-hmm. right? But there's less populating happening here because there's less people. Right. So then these languages start taking over and eventually demolish this language because they return home and destroy that language. So you're saying, what's with the hand gestures here? It's the... It's because the disperse. <laughs> the dispersion? And destroy. No, <laughs> uh, no uh, what I was going to say is I just feel that, that, that nowadays it doesn't really happen. Yes, it does. Uh, French is fighting to survive. Oh, French has been... Quebec alone is the front line <laughs> <laughs> for French. Have you seen them? Yeah. It's crazy. Nah, it's, 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 Ooh, it's, le parking. <laughs> it's the front line. It's the conversion. You can, you can to feel English. the French, the French when they speak English shifting away into English. Yeah. But at the same time. And that's why their laws are changing right. rapidly. Yeah, to, to the, prevent that from happening. Yeah. But I think it also plays into a part where um, you, you run into instances where everything is in English. Yeah. Right? You know, you go to school, you learn English. Yeah. You take math, it's in English. You know, you you you're you're um you go to ho- you go home you watch TV yeah 
They got everything in English. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm sure they have like shows dubbed in French on like Netflix. Oh, yeah, for stuff. sure. But why would you watch that? I, I know. If be, you know English. Or, see, this is what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> just watch the original. Yeah. Why change? What? Why, why be annoyed by their mouths? Why? Being why? Out, why fix something if it sink. ain't broke? You know, so it's you crazy. run into these sort of situations, I think. Uh, have you seen that video of that one girl? We'll be back right after this. This podcast is brought to you in part by Two Latin Brothers Podcast. You thought there wouldn't be a commercial, but there is. So make sure to follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll see you guys right now. And we're back. I don't. What were you saying? So there's this girl. Okay, well, you can't just show. It's been like three hours. I don't know what's going on. I don't on know what anymore. you're talking about. Anyways, so there's this girl who who's learned a special skill. Right. And this skill is that of related to the dubbing. She can physically delay in real life. So what she does is that she mouths the words and then ventriloquists the phrase after. So basically what she's doing, she's saying hi. And she continues with the conversation by moving her lips, then saying what she wants to say. Oh, is it? Wasn't this on like a uh, Brendan Scott Town or something like this? I feel like there was an act similar. Yes, maybe. Or, or was it America's Got Talent? I was some some talent show that had somebody like this. She she was doing it. Yeah, and but I, I just find that so impressive. Like, how do you just sit down one day and just like, can I do real delay? <laughs> real can delay. I can I do that? And then I I sat down. I'm not gonna lie to you. I sat down and I tried it, and it's actually very difficult, because. <laughs> you have to <laughs> say the word and then stop moving your lips. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's against the natural order. Yeah. So the only word I got good at saying was hi. <laughs> Quite literally. Hi. That's it. <laughs> how are you? That's it. That's like, it's just, it's just so weird. I don't know how people just figure this out they just sit down bro, one day bro, okay, maybe look. it's a shower it's just a sh- it's a is it a shower thought bro look i, I feel just, like i want you to know one or two things yeah one there are very bored people in this world like me i tried it two yes i bet they figured it out by trying to dub something and then realized that they could do it okay maybe but this is like child children doing this Okay, well, I mean, you I'm know, just joking. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how old these people are. I don't know, man. I don't ask you. I don't know what you also call like. Or... What do you call yourself? I'm a professional delayer. <laughs> 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 like, like, how do you put that down on a resume? You know what I mean? Like, like, I speak, bro. I got this in lag. On a resume. <laughs> I speak in lag. I've always, uh, what is it? Recently, I was thinking about like I should go into like freelance, yeah, uh, videography, yeah. And I'm like, um, uh, and then uh, I'm like, I should put it on my resume. Well, videography or video editing, video editing, yeah. I mean, you can do videography if you want me to. I mean, sure, <laughs> but like, get like the cage. <laughs> I mean, sure, <laughs> but like, why? If you can just edit pre-recorded stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I mean, it's like half the work. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm just going to film it. You deal the edit. <laughs> oh, okay. No, but uh, no, but uh, I've definitely run into instances where um, I, I casually bring up that I know how to video edit in like an interview. Yeah. They'd be like, like, why? <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, and oh, then you wait. realize, oh, wait, it's this. You no, got it right. Because it, no, it. it makes no sense. Yeah. Like, especially my field of study. They go, why do you know how to do that? And I go, well, why not? And then they go okay, and I go I I, I also have a ho- I have I have a life, you know. Yeah. I got hobbies and stuff. Sometimes. And then, no, well, I mean, hey, you have uh, a life sometimes. I mean, sometimes te- it's on hold. I mean, technically, right now I'm working. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but definitely, I've run into instances where people will be like, "Why do you know how to edit audio?" And I'd be like, because I said so. My because I was bored one day and decided to do this. <laughs> I it's did called this to YouTube. Myself. You can learn a lot of things on YouTube, really. If you wanted to learn the basis of science, yeah. you could watch a playlist of YouTube videos. Uh, honestly, YouTube has changed the way you learn. Yeah. I'm just waiting for that time where we rely on technology to produce everything for us and distribute everything for us. And what we do with our lives is just what interests us. Okay, look. So there's a theory. I'm the theory. N- n- you're not. I'm the solution. I'm just- <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Take a couple of steps back. Um, there's Dictatorship. A theory, no, there's a, no, there's a theory that sociologists believe. Yeah. 
that if uh, they say that the reason poverty is an issue yeah. is education. Okay. So they say if everyone was super smart. Okay. Was properly educated. Okay. Everyone on earth. Okay. Every single issue that humanity has, has right now. Yeah. Would be solved in 20 to 40 years. Okay. Every single problem. Okay. Then what? You do what you want. Yeah. So he says that art would change drastically mm -hmm. because suddenly everybody is in the business of entertaining because there is, n there is nothing else for us to do because innovation wise we peaked. Yeah. And we probably got to the point where now innovate, like our, the machines are making themselves now. They're innovating within themselves yeah. to make themselves streamline better, faster, everything. Yeah. So we don't even have to worry about that. Yeah. He's like, so we get to a point where, and we'd probably enter a state where machines would farm for us. Yeah. So we wouldn't have to farm. We'd have machines clean water for us, clean the atmosphere itself for us. Yeah. So the greenhouse emission thing would probably not even be like, that'd be like a non-issue. Yeah. Because we're already cleaning the atmosphere itself. Yeah. So, or, or we just switch off fossil fuels entirely and go full electric. Yeah. Because there was a crazy breakthrough in like the power industry all of a sudden with battery technology. So he's just like listing off all these things. I'm just sitting there listening to this podcast. This is a Joe Rogan podcast, have you? Okay. And then, so I'm just sitting there like, this is actually... Like, it, but it makes sense. Yeah. Like, if you really think about it, it makes sense. Because what if the guy who knew the cure to cancer was, like, somewhere in, like, the middle of Africa? He just didn't have... The tools necessary. The, no, the education. Yeah. Like, it's sitting in his brain. Yeah. He just needs it's something. To, you know, he just needs something to trigger the thought, you know? Okay. Take a shower. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm running water, boys, in the middle of nowhere. See, this is why I said tools. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a tool. <laughs> It's like a, the shower's a tool. No, bro. It's like a, it's like. Well, this, I, mean, uh, I guess it's author. a utility. What's his name? It's like Michael or something. I can't remember. He he wrote a series of, or he's writing a series of ten books. Okay, it's like four books in. Okay, and he says that the plot for like half of the series came to him in a shower thought. Okay. It, See, I really <laughs> want to get a whiteboard in the shower. <laughs> like, I really do. You feel like you'd get some like. Crazy I feel like I get some crazy ideas in there. Yeah. It's just something therapeutic about setting your mind in that state yeah. of the water falling on you. Right. And then just thinking. Mm -hmm. It's it acts as white noise for the brain. So you can just think. You know, lately I've been in the shower and I'll just like like just go like on power saver mode or something. Like I'll just you fall like, asleep in the I shower. Know, I just like, I just it's like, just blank. No, I'm There's just, no I, thought. It's just, yeah, just it's just shower. <laughs> Yeah, I'll literally just I'll you're, jump in the you're, shower. You're basically, you basically become a TV without signal. No, no, I I literally no, I literally walk into the shower. Yeah. And then I'm like, you know, going through the motions. Yeah. Like, you know, bathing, and then all of a sudden I'll just like zone out when I'm like <laughs> done. Just like like standing there with the water running over. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I'll just zone out. And you know what brings me back? You right. knocking on the door, yo, get out of the washroom, I gotta use it. Yeah. And I'll be like, that'll stop me back into like reality. Yeah. But I'll just be like I'll be nowhere, the just nowhere. You're you're absent. That's that's my med that's my meditation time. Yeah, that's when I meditate. <laughs> that's when it's I like, go full set. It's like how there's there was a study of how men in the morning. Yeah, if there's no interruptions in the morning. Yeah, as soon as they wake up. Yeah, the first thing they'll do is they'll just sit up. Yeah, and just stare, <laughs> just into nothing. Yeah. <laughs> He's laughing because he knows this. he's done this. <laughs> yeah. He'll just get up and stare. Or not even not even need to get up. Yeah. He'll just wake Lie up. Lie in bed, stare at the ceiling. And just stare. Nothing's nothing's ticking. Yeah. Nothing's happening. It's just blind staring. <laughs> yeah. This it's is really interesting. Yeah. It's definitely happened to me. And it's 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 it's, it's strange. <laughs> it's just yeah. It's like the brain needs Might be to... why men don't live as long. <laughs> we, we waste so much time just staring. Maybe our subconscious gives out. <laughs> no, I think it has something to do with the fact that our brain's just like, you know what? You need a break from thinking. <laughs> so it's just like, it's just like I've been playing movies all night. No, it's a, the problem I think is, is that, especially for someone who's an overthinker. Yeah. Like, I'm an overthinker. So I'm like, an overthinker. I, I think a lot. I think so I too think, much. <laughs> so Which I is why it's called overthinking. That... My brain needs like a break in between at no, some point. No breaks for me. <laughs> it's constant. Never stops. It's choking. Except for that one moment in the morning when I sit down. <laughs> and I stare. <laughs> and then my yeah. alarm goes off and I'm like, dang it. <laughs> yeah. Should have slept. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> Just sleeping. And then you wake up and you're like, no. 
Did I forget my alarm? It's you panic for two reasons. Yeah. A. I slept through my alarm. <laughs> yeah. Or I never said it. It didn't go off. Yeah. B. I woke up too early and I just I just kicked myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically what just happened. And then you pick up your phone, you start checking, and then you realize five minutes. Yeah. And you're like, I can't fall asleep back in five <laughs> minutes. With that panic attack I just gave myself, you know how much I've been through. I just had a heart attack in my bed. You know, There's it's like, no, no way no. I'm I've going had, to I've sleep. I've had instances where uh, I've, I've fallen asleep. Like I, I, I think I've told a story before where I, fe- I came home one day from college, and it was the middle of winter, so the you know, sun sets early. Yeah. And so I'd, I'd come home, and it'd be dark, and I'd leave, and it'd still be dark. Yeah. Because of sunrise and sunset. So I remember one time I came home from, from, from the college, and... um. I'm like I go I go to my bed and I just passed out. Yeah, I was just so tired and overworked. I passed out and then uh, all of a sudden I hear my mom, our mom yell, "Come eat!" But the way she said it was like if it was morning. Yeah, like waking me up to like go down and eat breakfast. Yeah, and I get up and I'm like it's still dark out. Yeah, and I look at my I look at my I look at the phone. And it says six. Yeah. And I'm like, it's already morning. <laughs> like, I just slept through. I just slept through. I just slept. But he didn't read the AM, PM. So I, I come running down the stairs, like, with my bag. Like, yeah. I didn't even unpack my bag. I just grab my bag, and I come <laughs> running down the stairs, and I go, why didn't you wake me up for dinner? And she goes, what are you talking about? I'm calling you down to eat dinner right now. Yeah. And then, and then like, you guys are, like, on the couch. I'm just so disoriented. Yeah. It's like, what's happening? <laughs> I'd fallen asleep for, like, an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Also, like... The fact that your brain was just so in the motions, yeah. you weren't even questioning the fact that we we're all sitting down. Yeah. Like, why would I be awake at yeah. six in the morning? <laughs> like, I was just, like, so out of it. I was like, I, I think I was, like, so in my head just thinking, I slept through a whole, like, that whole, I slept, like, 12 hours and I didn't yeah. even realize it. <laughs> it was, you, must, you were thinking, man, I'm really in a crisis. <laughs> it was like, I need to sleep more. <laughs> this is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> like, cause it I, felt I've had like a similar th- situation when seconds. I was sick. Yeah. And I came home, and I I, I I came home early. Yeah. Again, winter. Yeah. But it was one of those days where it was like, it was snowing all day. It was dark. Yeah. And I lay down, and then I wake up, and I come, I, I, I walk down the stairs, and normally you've had band practice, so this was a while ago. Oh, like, yeah. you were still in high school. Right. And I come downstairs, and haven't checked any time or yeah. anything, and... You're not there. Yeah. My dad isn't home. Yeah. My sister isn't home. Right. My mother is. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, I'm like, man, I'm like, it's so dark to go to go for the school right now. Yeah. Because <laughs> it looked even darker than it was when I got home the morning before. Yeah. And I'm just like, man, it's so dark to go to school right now. And I start grabbing my bag and like, yeah. grabbing my book, putting it in there. And then my mom's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, yeah, like at this hour, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm like, it's so dark outside. Like, why would I go to school when it's this dark? Yeah. And my mom is just like, what are you talking about? We haven't even eaten dinner yet. <laughs> it's like 4.40. And then she tells me the time. And I'm like, oh. And I'm like, then where's dad? Or where's where's everybody? And then she's like, oh, they went to the store. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I guess. <laughs> I was just so perplexed. It was crazy. Yeah, that happens from time to time. I mean, I, I feel like you get stuck in like these weird like you blinder your perception moments. of time. Yeah, where like you you have blinders and your perception of time. It's because like it's almost as if you're you're stuck in like a like tunnel vision. Yeah. And you're just so hyper-focused on. Yeah. Like, I, it, I think it happens because your life gets so busy. Mm-hmm. You forget to, to, to I, I remember when I was, I forget to eat, you forget to sleep. You, like, like for for whatever reason, I never forget to shower. Yeah, I always remember to shower. Uh, I think that was like instilled in me as a child. So mm-hmm. like, you know what's crazy? It wasn't instilled in me to eat or sleep, but it was instilled to shower. Yeah. So like, I can be tired. I can be dead tired, and like, if I have to get up early, shower, get up early, shower. But yeah. it's like, or or even late at night. Like sometimes I'd come home at like ten o'clock thirty, yeah. ten thirty, eleven o'clock. See what a shower does is a reset button. Showers are after not you reset. shower, you feel fresh. <laughs> yeah, and it's probably because of that silence, you know, that meditative moment. That meditative that moment. moment where you're almost in a state of of like I don't know, it's, <laughs> it's ethereal, really. I don't know what it is. It's euphoric, <laughs> not euphoric. It's just ethereal. It's just like wow. 
clarity. But it's because it's like it, because like something about running water. I know that just feels so nice. I know. So it makes me question. Like, is this is this the moment of clarity people had when it would rain? Okay, so I'm like, but okay, think so, about it. So depending look, on listen. where you live. So there was a study done on this actually. Yeah. I read it. I read it a few weeks ago. I, I said I was going to talk about this on the podcast, and I didn't. Yeah, I think I even had that that link open and everything. Um, there was a study done where they they discovered that the reason we like the smell of after rain, mm-hmm. after it rains, yeah, is because they believe that our ancestors mm-hmm. used to use rainwater to survive. Okay, and the smell of rain itself attracts us to it because it was it was like a survival thing. Yeah, it was more like look, put out a bucket. Yeah. On a wall. summer day, yeah, when it rains, yeah, and then that moment after, yeah, the air is cool and it's you can like just, crisp. You can breathe and it's like minty fresh, <laughs> <It's> like minty. <laughs> and then you and then you realize you've breathed in too much, so you're like suffocating in pure <laughs> oxygen because all the pollutions come down. Yeah, and then you're like, <gasps> wow, submerged myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's like I I've never smoked before, but like let me tell you, I feel like that's what it's like. <laughs> like Except a, like I don't feel the need to cough after. You know, yeah, what I mean? it's like there's a guy in the cause. This is exactly what it feels like. Like it's just wow. <laughs> like, there's that like there's those no addicts who are watching us who are like yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> you explained it perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, uh, it, yeah, but let's be real here. I'm a, I'm a, I'm addicted to oxygen. No, but there are definitely, I think, if, especially if you're in the woods, like deep mm-hmm. in the woods, and it's rained, and then it stops raining, and you walk out. Yeah. I mean, you don't really want to walk out after it rains, because it's all muddy. and, and That's the one part that kind of ruins it. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're like, wow, look at the trees. Yeah. They're like, like the water, the moisture in the air. Something about. It's cool air. No, no, but something about. And then about, you step no, outside. No, but something about like the color. Like color just looks more vibrant and real and alive. Yeah. Like everything just like the trees, the grass. It's because water oh. is life. Yeah, but. I water mean, brings. Without water, there's nothing. <laughs> it's just dirt I love and how you're rock. explaining this dirt and rock. <laughs> yeah. Because water is life. Yeah, we Have you seen it. Mars? Perfect example of. No agua. Well, they have water. It's frozen. It's not my fault. So it's uh, Didn't ice you hear rock. the theory? It's like you nuke the north and the south and then you create, you know. Yeah. We're not doing that. <laughs> it's a good idea, though. It's a really crazy idea. But it might work. It could work. Or, or you could just break the planet, one or the other. You know, that's not my problem. <laughs> I, I know, either it'll work or you make the, 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 the environment worse. Yeah. So it's really hit or miss. Yeah, because they have, don't they have like sandstorms? Uh, Yeah. I love how I say they, like there's people just, you know, out there on Mars, like, yep, yeah, I'm here. I imagine there's people on Mars and it's just all underground. It's like. See, that's a theory. Yeah. That there's a whole society or civilization living inside, basically like a journey to the center of the earth. Yeah. Scenario. O- on our own planet. <laughs> on our, No, no, on Mars. So yeah. basically like there's a whole thing of like living creatures and stuff like that just right. there. I can't remember where I was reading. There was a there was a photo taken. I can't remember if it was on Mars of a structure of rock <laughs> that looks very similar to the scaling of a dragon. Really? Yeah. Huh. Can't remember where I saw that though. Could be fake. It's so don't, <laughs> don't 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 fact go fact check me actually. I want to know. <laughs> leave it that if you find out, leave that in the comments down below. I'm I'm curious. No one comments. No one will. Uh, <laughs> someone comments I commented wow crazy amazing alright bro wrap it up we've been here too long okay you're welcome no, okay. <laughs> okay guys this has been two Latin brothers podcast everything so in, in the description whether it be up down left or right make sure to share with your grandmother share with your sister, share with your dog share with your chiller share with everybody and everything share with your gators guys I don't know share with everybody and uh, we'll catch you guys next time peace bye <laughs>